Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I would like to give a thank you to all the new subscribers um, and as well as to say um, thank you especially to those of you who've been with me from the beginning and those of you who've stayed with me even though I've stopped doing uh, pick card readings um, with Tarot and Lemonormand and all these cards um, more regularly. Uh, for those of you who've stuck with me through the Oracle card readings, I really appreciate that. Um, the essence of what I'm trying to do in this channel is to empower people and help people. And uh, very often I felt that the the energy that was being created by doing the pick card readings was actually doing more harm than good. And this is why one of the reasons that I stopped doing it so regularly. I do, however, plan to do it more um, in the future. And hopefully uh, it will bring about a different type of energy. So I'm with you today to do the weekly oracle card guidance and we have three objects here option one option two and option three please make your selection and um i'll go ahead and start the reading so for those of you who've chosen the first option here we're going to be asking what is it that you come here to hear this week what is your weekly oracle card guidance and there's a card here that's kind of pointing out i'm just going to take that actually it seems like there are two cards here they want to come out. I apologize for such a, a tight shot. So we have two cards here that we've chosen for um, the option number one. I'm going to work with one at a time. So the first card here is called, um, it, it's called Love Heals Fear. And the caption is, the power of your love can help bullies and angry people to be less afraid. So Love Heals Fear. And this is interesting. It's something that I've actually tried to talk about in the um, in the weekly or um, in the energy forecast that I tried to do the other day, which was a bit of a disaster. Um, but um, basically, what I was trying to say is that it, it is um, the separation, it's division that actually drops us of our blessings at this moment. And so, it's important to embrace love whenever you can. Uh, and the card here talks about the power of your love. Um, can help bullies and angry people be less afraid and if you understand what is really going on when you encounter somebody who's aggressive or angry or upset or is um, fighting you perhaps you or something else it's really because they are people who've been hurt by whatever has caused them to behave in this way and it's necessary to understand that and not respond to the aggression that you feel from them. It's important to you understand that perhaps um, whatever manner they're behaving towards you with, it has probably something less to do with uh, them being evil or malicious or something like this, but rather to do with the fact that they've been hurt and this is their form of expressing how they have been hurt and, and it's a cry for help in a way. This is not to say that this is your call for you to help them necessarily, but simply to inject love into that space so that you can actually neutralize what is going on right now. So when a person is, is upset or angry, aggressive, what they're doing is they're holding on to whatever it is that they fear. And that is um, allowing them to behave in this way. It's allowing them to feed uh, they're feeding into their fear to be able to to continue to respond in this way. And what you're doing by injecting love into that situation, if it's an interaction or even if it's something that's remote from you, if you simply think of love or feel love or, or push love out there, if you have a loving thought about your, your fellow people, um, what's going to happen is that that is going to help heal that fear. Um, because fear is like darkness, you know, and, and love is like light. And so when you put a light into darkness, it immediately disappears. It's a fear is the, is the absence of love, actually. And so in the same way that darkness is the absence of light. And um, I think what this card is talking about here is asking you as you go along in this week to be able to embrace whatever uh, opportunity you have to be able to inject more love into the world, to be able to look at the situation, um, not at face value, because then you have a reactive response, but rather to be able to see, look through it, look at where it's coming from, look at what is um, it's, in, it's really embodied by, look at what is fueling it, and then to be able to, um, 
to show compassion and show love in the situation so that you can actually go about neutralizing the fear that um, those people are potentially feeling. So that's one part of the um, of the of the reading. I think that you know there are two cards that come that have come up here. So I'm just going to work with the second one. The other card that's here is Wish Upon a Star. It says, um, "Make a wish and expect the very best." So I feel here that this is really. Um, also talking about some of the energy right now, not just about bringing love into the world, not just about being able to neutralize some of the aggression or division out there, but rather to to talk about the fact that this is really a time where you can make your dreams come true. And I've talked about this in the energy forecast that I've, I've had um, probably at the end of July, at the beginning of August. I will link it here. Um, but basically, these months are such an important time to be able to wish upon something and make it come true. I mean, it's really about that. And um, the way in which this magic works is to truly believe that you can have what you wish for. So if you're wishing for something, but you partially feel that you can't really have what you're wishing for, uh, or you don't really believe it to be you, um, so perhaps you're wishing to win the lotto, but you can't really see yourself with that money in the, um, of the lotto. You can only see yourself as how you are right now. Then it's unlikely that your wish will come true. Um, so to be able to wish upon a star, to be able to wish just um, as often as you wish, <laughs> as often as you want to, to be able to use the opportunity, use the energy that's underlying right now, um, to be able to make your dreams come true in whatever those dreams are and to be able to recognize that that is the time that it is. This is a time of prosperity, especially as we go along now until about the middle of November or so. Um, some of this energy will continue until the end of December, but I feel like um, most the most poignant times or the most potent rather, I should say, the most potent energy will be during between now and um, mid-November. Well, actually, to to find a way to wish upon something that you desire, and um, a see, give it a chance to let it happen, and this card's just affirming that that you know you can make a wish and expect uh, the very best from it because it's almost a promise that that would be the case uh, that making a, a a wish will allow you to have the best that you can from this. Um, from, from this energy. So to bring the two cards together, um, basically, it's love heals fear and wish upon us a star. So if this is something that, if you, you can't quite resonate with what I mean when I talk about um, aggression or divisiveness outside of you, um, you could also think about it as Actually, where is it that you are divisive inside of you? Where is it that there are two different energies pulling you in different directions? Where is it that you want something and you're not willing to give that up, but you actually recognize that in order to to have that, you've got to give up everything else. And therefore, you need to actually make a decision about what it is that is that truly benefits you and those around you. What is the best thing that you can do for yourself right now, as well as for those around you, rather than what you want to do? Okay, so I feel like that is a lot, also part of this energy here. It's about, um, you know, injecting your own faith and your own love into the fears that you have potentially have so that you cannot you're not going to stop yourself from going ahead and manifesting what you desire um because this card here this wish upon a star it's almost like um kind of like um i don't know it's like you're you know you've won the jackpot or uh you've got a shooting star and all your wishes are coming true and it's, it's a very very um uh, vibrant and joyful and happy energy and so i think that you know with the love of heals fear it's just about stopping yourself from actually um preventing you from getting what you want or being able to manifest what you desire so um i'm talking really very generally here about the energy etc but in terms of what you can expect as you go along this week I think that you can expect to have opportunities to be able to heal that fear, for the fear to come to the surface in a way that is um, so uncomfortable that it will actually give you the opportunity to work with it in terms of love. 
and and then to be able to allow the, the goodness, the blessings that come out of that situation to help you to manifest what it is that you desire. And I think that you're quite likely to be able to um, to make your dreams come true. Um, there's a full moon coming up as well in this week. And, um, you know, usually when people make wishes, etc., I advise them to do it along a new moon. But I feel here that the new moon that we've had already, this energy really does actually continue, not just until the full moon, but but beyond until the next new moon. And I think that you can use some of the um, energy of the full moon that's coming up this week to be able to work with what it is that's blocking you from wishing upon what you wish for or what it is that's blocking you from actually having what you desire. And then, you know, as that comes to an, um, an end, as that... Um, full moon comes to an end or um, a couple of days later, you can start thinking about what it is that you wish for and what it is that you desire in your life right now and where it is that you want to go for or to with that. So spend the next week or so working with that healing, healing of the fear, and then use the time thereafter to wish upon um, the star. So that is my advice as far as uh, these cards are concerned for you and for those of you who've chosen this option here. I hope that you have a great week as you go along and um, may your wishes come true. So for those of you who have chosen this option here, we're asking, what is that that we need to know? What is What have we come here to hear? And what is our advice as we go along in this week? So I just want to apologize for the extreme close-up shot here. Um, my my table that I usually use for um, the, to shoot the readings is just not available right now, and so I've had to use another space. Ah, oh, there we have the card here. It's kind of falling out. Ah, oh, what do you say? <laughs> this is so funny. It's um, it's the same card that's come out in the last reading. So I feel. It's probably relevant for you as well. I'm going to just go ahead and shake, um, just um, shuffle these cards again and see if there's anything else that comes up here. So once again, I'm just also not able to mount my camera differently um, given the, the space constraint that I have right now. Hence the... Uh, um, yeah, hence the the strange uh, angle that we have today. So um, we have two cards here. We have love heals fear and we have love. And the caption for the first one is the power of your love can help um, bullies and angry people to be less afraid. And here the card we have is the answer that you seek. I'm sorry, the answer that you are seeking is love. All right, so here I feel like um, in your situation specifically that there's a great deal of um, anxiety. So this is quite, I'm going to do quite a different reading for you there as I did for the first option. But if you feel that this doesn't resonate with you, then perhaps go ahead and listen to the first option where I talked about uh, the meaning of this card here, the love heals fear. But I feel here that um, that what, what I'm sensing from you, those of you who have chosen the option number two, is that there's a great deal of anxiety, there's a great deal of fear, and there's something of a sense of not being able to trust, really. Not being able to trust because you know the nature. It's like, you know, you're this unicorn here, and you know the nature of this uh, predator. You know, And you're convinced about that. You're convinced about the... The, the nature of the predator and so whether you know this predator is somebody that you work with or somebody that you um that runs your country or whether it's somebody who's um you know the administration or whatever it is wherever it is that your fear comes from and your anxiety comes from it's actually talking about um it's it's asking you to basically recognize that you are you have a source of fear and it comes from somewhere and that you feel like you're being accosted by this in some respect or the other and so the advice here 
is, um, it says here, the power of your love can help bullies and angry people be less afraid. But I feel here that it's it's more a message for you, that it can help you be less afraid. So, and the answer to this question is love. So the answer that you're seeking here is love. And so it says, and I think that um, the way to go about it, the way to go about with this energy is to actually work with love like identify where is it that you are not experiencing love or where is it that you're not uh, putting out love in your um in your in your life so i think the answer to what you need to hear this week is that you need to seek love and inject more love into yourself in order to be able to heal your own fears it feels here that some of, that you're resonant with anxiety or that you're resonant with with emotions that are overwhelming or that leave you feeling helpless and that feel make leave you feeling defensive and if that is the case if you're feeling defensive right now if you're feeling that uh, things are not really going your way or things are out of control that things are not really as they should be and uh, you are struggling to cope with that you're struggling to cope with what a reality could be if you are struggling to cope with um a situation in your life which brings you uncertainty then the answer to, to that is love the answer to that is is um just pouring love over that situation to just being able to um love that situation so even if it's causing a lot of anxiety even if you're worried about it it's about being able to just pour your the best that you of you can, that you can into the situation um, so how does one do that? Like, okay, let me give you an example, okay? Um, let me try to give you an example. So if you were to say, let's just say you you don't have a job right now and uh, you are coming to the end of the month and you don't know how to pay for things and you are, this situation is definitely causing you anxiety. It's definitely causing you quite a lot of, of fear then I would say that the way in which to work with this is to firstly um, accept the situation. So the way in which to inject love into this, the way in which to answer this problem with the love is to firstly accept that this is the situation. Accept that you have um, not the funds uh, in this example, okay, um, that you have not the funds to be able to pay the bills or that you are in this dire, in these dire straits. And once you've done that, than to be able to look at the situation and even though it may cause you anxiety, even though it may worry you, to be able to see all within that situation that is still okay. And when you do that, what you're recognizing is that there is still goodness in that situation. That's one of the ways, okay? The other way is to directly pour love into that situation by directly trying to love that situation that you're in. Trying to convince yourself that this is a lovable situation that you are in right now and that you can actually cope with this and as you do that to be able to feel the love that you have for yourself to be able to feel the admiration and the joy that you have for yourself and this is actually going to help you to be able to weather the situation i feel here that um wherever you may have fears especially if they're unfounded especially if they are um as the fears that of the future, that you have no clue of whether that is going to take place or not, it's simply what you're projecting into the future, then this is something that you can solve with love. It You can certainly work with love and, and um, that's going to allow you to actually make the the energy lighter it's going to take away the heaviness from the from the energy but it's also going to help you to um, find an oasis in there where you feel like you can breathe where you feel like you can exist and that you're not feeling oppressed in that moment okay i think the other thing is that if you are in a situation where this is not something that's inside of you but it's something that's outside of you where people are, bu are bullying you as it's um as it's pointed out in the in the card here there's this uh, the power of your love can help bullies and angry people to be less afraid then I think that what is important is to be able to um, to to work with the situation, to be able to um, resolve the the animosity that perhaps that you might ha might have towards somebody would love. So to be able, even if you are not feeling it, even if you're not really 
uh, feeling that that situation is deserving of that. But perhaps to just do a visualization where you kind of see the relationship between yourself and that person being healed and um, or those persons, if it's plural, or that institution, whatever it is. And try to heal that, that situation by bringing love into it, by bringing um, a pure sense of love. And this is what I think that this card is here for. This card is here to basically kind of emphasize that, you know, to emphasize that love needs to be brought into the situation, that everything that you need to do as you go along in this week is to work with it in terms of love. I just would like to go ahead and read um, the, the meaning here because I feel like uh, this might help you have a better insight if perhaps I'm not really giving you everything that you need right now. So I'm going, I'm going to just read this. Um, uh, for this card, it, it re, um, love heals fear. It's uh, The caption once again is, the power of your love can help bullies and angry people be less afraid. So it reads, people who are angry are really afraid of getting into trouble, even adults and people with important jobs. So when you meet someone, let me get this into focus. There we are. Uh, so when you meet someone who acts like a bully, remember that this person is really just afraid. If you get angry back at the person, you'll just add to their fear. You can heal away anger with your thoughts of love. See the goodness in everybody, including yourself. Know that everyone really wants to be happy. No one likes to be a bully. No one enjoys being angry. Bullies and angry people are very lonely because their anger pushes other people away from them. So you can help by being kind to such people. You'll also want to be kind to yourself and listen to your inner voice, which tells you how to stay safe. Call upon angels, especially Archangel Michael, to protect you if you ever feel afraid. Um, and love is your best protector because your inner voice helps you to know the love that that's within every person. It will keep you strong no matter what. So... Yeah, that pretty much sums up what I was trying to say, I think. Um, I just want to read here the bit about love as well. Here we are. So it says here that um, the answer that you are seeking is love. This card wants you to know the simple yet powerful answer that you seek. It's love, pure love, divine love, healing love. You can heal your current situation by acting more lovingly toward, the, toward others. You can also tell them, I love you. Even holding loving feelings toward another person is a powerful way to heal them and the relationship. You can send love to someone who's in need by seeing or feeling love coming from your heart and going to the other person. You can also call upon to teach others about love. You can do this in many different ways. You can write, sorry, you can talk, write or sing about it. You can... You can draw a photograph or picture or paint a picture that shows love. You can make someone laugh to open their heart or inspire them with your own example of living a life of love. This card may also mean that another person really loves you but doesn't know how to show you or tell you these feelings. Remember that not everyone is comfortable with strong feelings. Compassion is part of love, which means being open to other people's differences. All right, so I think the last comment I'd like to make here is that in order to be able to um, to to heal, work with healing, work with healing and using love to work with healing. Actually, healing and love are basically the same thing in a way. Um, but in order to be able to do that, the first step towards it is compassion. It's empathy, being able to understand another, being able to see the um, that person's situation. Uh, through their eyes and if you're resistant towards this then that is then you're going to find it difficult to actually love so work with that if you feel that that is perhaps where your obstacle may be so i hope that has been a helpful message to you as you go along please stay safe and healthy and happy as you go about your week many blessings to you all so for those of you who've chosen the option number three here um we asking what is it that you need to know what is it that you've come here to hear during this week so I just uh, shuffled these cards a little bit in the camera um, 
and I apologize for the very tight shot. I just didn't have my table available and I couldn't mount the camera in any other way. So, we'll do our best with what we have at the moment. And I feel like this card here is kind of pushing itself out, so I'm going to just take it. And the card reads, it's okay to be different. Um, you don't need to be like everyone else. You're perfect just as you are. Okay, so this is a nice sort of refreshing uh, card because it has a different energy from the other two cards that have been here in the first uh, couple of options. And I feel here that um, this, is, this card is uh, talking about something that's happening to every one of us right now. In, in so many ways, we are changing, but in exactly the same way. So we all are becoming more psychic. We all are becoming more intuitive. And as we do so, we recognize something about ourselves that is extraordinary, extraordinarily unique and very different from how we might have understood ourselves to be. And this may um, leave you feeling quite um, quite estranged from the crowd. It might make you feel quite left out because I feel like this level of understanding of oneself that you have right now is probably quite different from what you've had previously. And I think this card here is basically talking about you know, the fact that it's okay to feel this way, that it's just a confirmation that it's fine to feel this way. It's a confirmation of it's fine to go in a different direction. So if you've been thinking about going in a very different direction, it's okay to do that. It's okay to not be that person that you were before. So if you've been a certain person for the last 10 years, you've been working towards something, you've been doing something for the last few years, um, or whether it be two or three years, or whether it be a whole decade, well, this card is also saying it's okay to take a different path. It's okay to move in a different direction. And it's okay to do something a little bit different to what other people have been expecting from you. And, you know, the caption here reads once again, you don't need to be like everyone else. You're perfect just the way you are. So what are the norms in your society, in your community? What, are the, what is expected of you? How are you expected to be? And where is it that you're feeling the pull to go in a different direction? Or where is it that you're pulling, feeling the pull to be somebody completely different? You know, perhaps you've been pursuing a particular trade for a very long time and now you've decided uh, that it isn't really what you need or it isn't actually what you're suited uh, to doing. And now you need to be able to say that quite loud to others. Um, and that is what 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 uh, this card is about. I feel also that this card is is a reminder to yourself that it's okay to be different. So if you feel like you need to move along the same path and do the same thing, but it's not really working and you're not really sure of how it's going to work, and they they don't seem to be anything any kind of new news that's coming up, or anything new that's happening that's going to show you the path, and you know. Uh, and you're very uncomfortable about thinking about a different path, then this card is here as a confirmation to say, well, listen, it's okay to be different. It's okay to choose a different path. And, you know, you, you, the universe has your back with regard to being different and to choosing a different path. So just go ahead with it. And as you go ahead, what you might find is that you have all the support that you need and that it's not as daunting as you it might have seemed to be. I feel here that um, there's a part of you that feels quite shy. It's There's a part of you that's almost afraid to be who you are. There's a part of you that's afraid to stand up for what you believe in and what you actually, who you really are. It's like you almost don't see yourself. It's, it's like you almost don't recognize how special you are or what is special about you. And um, it might be that you've been hiding for a while, like you're hiding yourself from the world or you're hiding yourself from um, from those around you. It might be that you are pretending to be a something else because you're afraid of who you really are and you're afraid of really shining because shining out there and being yourself is going to draw too much of attention to you and you are uncomfortable with that. 
So I urge you to look at that. If, if that resonates with you, I urge you to look at that and see where is it that you can work with yourself with regard to that and overcome such fears. Or, or just learn to become more comfortable with yourself and recognize that you have these special attributes. You know, every single one of us are very, very different. And um, while we may think that we are the same, we are actually incredibly different. And now is the time, this card is saying that now is that time to actually be able to look at ourselves and to be able to understand what is it about us that is unique and what is it about us that is really special. And that is, you know, it's it can be duplicated. It's something that just, that we are, that we are this, you know, perfect uh, concoction of something special, something magical. And what is it here that we can see in ourselves that we have not been allowing ourselves to see until now? Um, I feel here that people might have been trying to tell you that, you know, might, might be, there might be people around you who reinforce uh, who you see yourself as right now. And there may be people around you who are also trying to tell you who you are or, or try to show you how special you are and that you not you haven't always listened to them, but perhaps now is the time where you can actually feel comfortable listening to them, and now is the time that you can, in fact, um, just give it a chance, just try to to listen to them and try to hear what they have to say, and try to see yourself in those eyes as well as you go about the exploration of who you are and how you need to see yourself. Um, I feel here also that seeing yourself in a particular light or understanding yourself in a particular light may require you to move. It might require you to move geographically, to move to a different place, to go to a different place so you can live out who you really are and how it is that you need um, to be in your life. All right, so um, that is the message for you. I know it's a little bit shorter than the others, um, but um, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. And I hope that this uh, message actually resonates. And that this helps you as you go along. Uh, just one last thing. I feel like there are many who are waiting for you to actually take this mantle, like to step up, up and be yourself in your in your life. And it's like they've been waiting a long time, and you're getting you know further along right now. So it's time to actually just do that, to not waste any more time, and actually take the helm, take that space that's being offered to you and um, go ahead and, and be that spokesperson perhaps for the others or show the others the way of how it is to be different and how is it how it is okay to be different. So yes, I hope that has been helpful as you go along in this week. I wish you all very many blessings and may you stay safe and healthy and well as you go along in the upcoming week. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.